Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here in Old World Blues, in which we are going to explore and play as the Summer Federation, led by Riley Morrison, the booming Brigadier General. And to get more daily compliance, look at that. But, let's begin with our unique focus tree that was part of the Old World Blues, Liberty or Death update. The Big Boom. To the Summer's Federation, bombs are just, are used to celebrate rather than just a fight. I love using bombs. Ah, uh, let's see. Oh, and maybe we should train some divisions. Yeah, maybe that'd be a good idea, especially since this campaign might be a little difficult to start off with, just because we've got a big old boy named Lanius who's going to arrive soon enough, soon enough to beat us up. But I do want to let you know that this is on a historical, just to hopefully give us a little bit more time to prepare against Lanius. But the big boom, fireworks splintered in the air, and wreckage was blasted away. The big boom was a nickname most people called it, a celebration held once each year on the same day, of course, the same month, at the same hour. It was a celebration to commemorate the formation of the Summers Federation, a union of three wayward little city-states. Backwoods, the first of these towns, was a waste dump situated at the top of a rocky massif. It was at the time of founding, just a home of squatters and survivors looking for a place to hide from raiders, the tall rock useful to notice war bands on the horizon. What would the people of the Blackwoods bring to the Summers Federation? Stories of a forgotten hero, or stories of a fallen frontier, land doctrine, or in industry? Ooh, we need more industry, like, to produce more stuff. But land doctrine will be really, really important, even though I'm not even researching it yet. Uh, well, frankly, with the land doctrine here, we'll probably go down conventional warfare to get some defensive bonuses, but caps, we've already played 3.2. Uh, uh, let's go through land doctrine so we can get through it as quickly as possible. In fighting in the house, like any family, a bit of tussling is to be expected, of course. And we have a national spirit, a legacy of Centurion Paulus, or Paulus, yeah, Paulus, yes, Paulus. I wonder where Paulus is from, hmm. And that hurts our defense by 20%, division speed by 20%, appeal to refugees 20%, infrastructure construction speed 20%. But we do get some more daily army speed game, which is extremely important, and less population nomadicity. But family squabbles. The second of the cities was known as the Chuela, a little prosperous city founded by the legendary Troy Chuela. A fall, former vaulter. Unfortunately, Troy's hopes for the strength of an ideal democratic society didn't last long. Against the savagery that the wasteland demanded, Chuala found himself grouped with war and tribalism, families staging decades-long blood feuds against one another. It was only when the, with the integration of the town into the Federation that the outset arbitration was able to put the conflicts of the town to an end. Which of the families would the Federation say was in the right? The Troy support technology? Or manpower. Ooh. Actually, if we look over here, the devs were nice enough for us to actually give us already dynamite as well as saws with a surplus already given to us for, uh, you know, both already. So that's pretty nice. I'm going to go with manpower just in case because it takes quite a while, at least in terms of years, for us to get to research support equipment without having a penalty. But one soldiers, always soldiers. We will get you back someday. Probably followed up with one of the other things. So the Federation... Federation's big win. Well, you got to destroy Atlantis' cohort there, but our biggest loss yet. The last of the cities to join the Summers Federation was the richest and most plentiful, Plains Runner. A former supply depot that trailers used to send supplies deeper down the I-10, formed in a rich community off the salvage in the town, sending shipments across the Waisan. It was only during a raider attack by the famed raider Matron that the town agreed to join the Federation in order to receive protection. However, Plains Runner would not remain in the hands of the Federation for long. A few decades later, a new band of raiders known as the Executives fought a war to keep the plane to take Plains Runner from the Federation's or Summers Federation, eventually swiping the city from the Federation's hold. Which supplies would the Federation try to save before the city was taken? Tools? Ooh. We get 250 more guns, which are we need. We absolutely need, but so civvies. We're actually trying to build up military factories. Will we be able to build enough in time for war? Oh, that's a good question to ask. Would we have enough? Ooh, we only have one factory right now working on these guys. I want to take that, but I'm going to go with civvies. Hopefully long term this will be okay. So, like we said, the Federation's big win. We can't take yet. Oh, you can do offloading or advanced salvage, which gets political power, which is pretty darn quickly, and decreases the duration of legacy of Centurion Polis. Codex lessons. I want to get more political power as fast as possible. Massively fortifies a state for Fort Summers, or no, for Backwoods. So Backwoods is up here, right? Good. Okay, so we're just a ticking time bomb at this point, and we we either do hunting big prey for vehicles and get more unit leader attack, or picking on little prey. For double air technology and more defense, allocation of resources, that's nice. I think either the haven for the helpless for more factories immediately. 
or offloading our salvage. Let's do that one first. As of recently, we've come into ownership of some advanced salvage, of which we really don't have any particular use for. Old circuits, rusted fusion cores, all things we don't really understand. We have sent a messenger to the armored salvagers up north to help us offload the stuff. Just because I want to get more political power, we get 1.22 every single day. Not bad. Not great. We don't have any quarterly profits, or we don't have, you know, a trade note, I should say. But uh, I want to get as much political power as fast as possible. Apparently, we start off with four-year conscription, which is absolutely nuts. But... Oh man, look at that. We already don't have... We're, over, we're not even mobilizing. I want to get more political power, though, as fast as possible. Point one really isn't going to help us that much, though. Ooh. I think the thing I'm going to do, though, we're going to grab George Wigfall first, because we want as much army XP so we can put on demo teams, so we can put on fire teams, because we're going to need it immediately. Oh, and they already go to war with those guys. Grab some of that first. Uh, up next, we're going to grab next, though... A haven for the helpless. Since its founding from the unification of the towns of Backwoods, Plains Runner, and Chihuahua, Fort Summers has always been known as a city open to anyone looking for a home. They get four more factors in total, which is something we're going to definitely need. So, with this campaign, obviously, when Lanius comes a knocking, we're going to need more divisions. But the divisions we currently have are only 10 combat with. We need more guns. We need more demo equipment. We need more fire teams. Oh, this is not good. So not good. A passive refugee assimilation. Oh, what is this? Refugees. As states are conquered in the wasteland, refugees will flee new occupation and start to seek a new elsewhere. When such refugees reach our nations, they join our unassimilated refugee pool. We can assimilate these refugees for a manpower boost in our core states, either by letting them play out or through making a conscious political effort. We have 390 unassimilated refugees currently. This is a 1.1% of our core population and suffer a minus 0.5% stability. Since the start of the game, they've been arrived, none who have assimilated. Passive assimilation, a total of 19 refugees will assimilate. Oh, that's kind of cool. Actually, I like this. I like this idea. I like what the devs have done here. That's kind of cool, actually. Nationwide assimilation drive. For 50 political power, you can assimilate things faster. Turn away refugees. I wonder how this is going to work with Enclave. Because that seems kind of weird. Refugees, cool. People are fleeing Lanius right now, of course. But let's get to the description. That'll help our manpower. Manpower, no, that's not going to help our manpower. That's going to help us in combat. And we're going to immediately go with conventional warfare. Mm, oh, we did get some planes already, just in case. But we need more industry immediately. I'm going to grab work as needed. I want to do construction stuff, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, we'll have to wait for a year for another military factory. That's not great. We need some gliders. I think that'll help out. So make some of those once we get guns done. And after this one, a Hanna Santa Fe. We get more factories. As land is, or, or just people die, or nations get removed, um, we'll get more factories. But I do want to get this one. I, or, no, it was Maxim Technology, at least. Wow, if they accept more soft attack. That's not bad. Bunker strategy. I want to do that one, definitely. Ooh, ooh, data delivery. I, you know, it's not bad to get this, this much army XP. You know, we can, this is not a bad thing to have as long as we don't go to war with Linus. As long as we don't go to war with them, it, this is not bad. So, unassailed refugees, of course, a haven for the helpless. I want more factories, man. We need more factories. So, ooh, stability would be really nice to get, though. Stability is so nice to get. Mm. Allocation of tools. Let's grab allocation of resources. With a looming threat to the west and south, we need to consolidate our resources and start stockpiling. Who knows when the next great threat to Summers could be coming? Who knows? Who knows? We totally don't know. God, we need more guns. But these guys are all 10 combat width, which is not great. We need more divisions. Oh, this is not going to be good. This is not going to be good. Nationwide assimilation drop. 48. Uh, I, is that mitigated? Huh, okay. That sounds kind of cool. We could get more stability... I mean, for this campaign, we're definitely going to have to go with Town Defender here. I'm just worried that we're not going to be strong enough by the time war breaks out. So, that's my biggest worry here. Let's actually grab some construction speed. It's only 5%, which isn't great, but it'll it'll work for now. After this one, ooh, civilian factories. Ooh, there goes Muscalio Nation. Codex Lessons. Stability. Let's grab some more stability. Look, Brotherhood has offered us a chance to take a glimpse at the Codex, studying how they put together society and keep order in a place as wild as the Wasteland. Not bad. Wasteland economy. Ooh, we can't even go there yet. Ooh, I kind of... Oh, wait. Wasteland economy. Yeah. 20% more. Do we want to spend our political power for that? Oh, you might want to wait. Might want to wait. So we're doing that. Let's grab some more cap and growth. That's good. How long do we have to wait for this? We have 25% people support, which is not good. We need warmonger. More than 20% of core territories. Rulers, elites. We need more war support. Hmm... Economic advisors, trade laws, civilian factory construction speed. We're not doing that already. Person of the community, monthly population, credible population factor, war support. Actually, let's take. We can take honest speaker 
Even though I don't really want to use them at all. We can do that, get more war support, and then jump down to well equipped army. Even though there was a method someone said to actually grab this one for less soft attack and reliability, just so it can produce guns as fast as possible. That may be possible. But I'm gonna do this maybe. We get more war support. Actually, is there a way we can raise war support regardless? I'd love to send caravans too though. Weekly stability would be so nice. I don't think there's another way for us to get more war support currently. We're obviously gonna need more attack and defense. Recon would be nice. Especially this one, more max planning and defense on core territory. Hmm. I never choose stuff like this, but on a speaker. Just so we can get to well equipped army next. Because I want to be able to produce, 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 even though it's not going to be that great. But hopefully, getting more population. Oh, Muscario Nation is gone. That's not good. They need our help. And we should get two more arms workshops, two more civilian workshops. From the southwest, refugees arrive from the Mescaero Nation. They tell stories of the, land, or the Legion's cruelty and, hu and inhumanity. A true nation of monsters. Also, we're using uh, Player of the Peace Conferences, City of Central Tumod, Old World Blues, and Old World Blues Radio. Just to let you know. Cool. Four more factors would be actually extremely beneficial for us right now. So, let's see. 2.6 of our core population. 900 refugees. It doesn't really hurt us that much, though, which is good. So after this one, can we do anyone else here? No. Bunker strategy is definitely something we got to do. Just in case, we probably want to do a small equipment package first so we have this one available whenever. So the Brotherhood has sent us a small stockpile of valuable goods. Figuring out how to use these should be a breeze. Oh, oh, another division. Nice. Oh, there goes Santa Fe. That's not good. Construction basics. Also, to let you know that the, the general we have here is just a generic general, so he is who he is. Actually, I, which one is more defense? Fire teams 11 versus 2. Yeah, we want fire teams here. That'll be good. And since we have no command power, uh, I probably will go rooted. More max entrenchment. Entrenchment speed. Ooh, infantry attack and defense 10%. Now, ooh, is one more entrenchment better than 10% infantry defense? I don't know, but I, we'll probably go with Mr. A Stranger first. Defense is still not bad. So, we've got more factories. That's good. Let's grab a small equipment package. Oh, crap. We are... This is not good. Oh, goodness gracious. We need more infantry equipment. We gotta get some demo teams on our guys next. Oh, this is not good. I'm not feeling good about this. Oh, no, 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 no. Ruthless drills. We got even more refugees. Please assimilate. 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 Please, 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 please. Helps our stability slightly more, apparently. Uh, Santa Fe. All right. A hand at Santa Fe. Looks like the priests of Santa Fe need her help. Good for us. We have been looking for a chance to open up a trade route with them for a while. Get even more factories, more manpower, which is nice, and for summers, which we don't get, you know, directly immediately, but, you know, whatever. Upgrade Haven for the helpless. 5% appeal to refugees. Please don't focus on this, uh, Legion. Please, 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 please. But we could use that. Oh, we're probably going to need more defense here. That's going to take a while to get, though. Anti-tank. That's it. Just see how long it takes to get this stuff. It's just, it's just too long. It's just too long. I'm thinking about doing that, but manpower, uh, an immediate boost in manpower seems really nice. Nice. So we got a few more factories that'll come in handy incredibly nicely. Get more of this just in case. We need some more support equipment. We get enough political power now. Just, oh, mm, I don't know if we'll have enough time. We'll we'll risk that one first. On the 18th, so in about five weeks, we'll have. Another factory, which would be nice. Let's grab some more max planning. We've got more entrenchment already, which is nice as well. Um, a new commander, why not? John Jonathan Farnsworth. Looks kind of cool. Anything for defense, please? Savage leader would be nice. Cold personality. Uh, junk rounds. 5% more attack. Planning. Ghoul infantry. Infantry plus 3%. 3%. 5% though into core territory. Every every little percentage counts, so actually I almost never choose this one. Fight the power. We're going to need as much defense as possible. Minus one point nine percent, that's not bad. Okay, so we got enough. Let's go ahead and put on some demo teams since we're making them anyways, so. And we have enough for now. For now. So we're, we're almost out of our deficit of infantry equipment as well, which is good. We'll get some more manpower. These guys are still looking okay. Oh, do we need data delivery as well? Ooh. Yeah, we gotta do that. We, we gotta get rid of the, the the legacy of Centurion Paulus. Data delivery. 
The will to succeed is important, but what's more important is the will to prepare. The Brotherhood are being generous and offering us quite a substantial deal. Education and drills and divisional warfare. Deadly and ferocious tactics. All they request in return are any old server banks, intelligence modules, or old broken robots we've lay we have laying around. We get more arm XP, which is going to be incredibly necessary as well. Up next, I think we'll go with Town Defender. We're going to need more defense on core territory, max entrenchment. Hmm. That's not, not bad either, but we don't really need that. Plus 10%. Versus plus 7.5%. But you get more max entrenchment, though. Oh, another division's been made very good. And we might need manpower as well to help our... Uh, uh, just just manpower in general. So, organized agriculture. That's nice. So, a little bit ahead of time. Get even more manpower. That'd be really good. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Land doctrine is still coming along. We might be able to make some planes, maybe. Just go and grab this one. It doesn't matter. Just grab it. We need as much output as humanly possible. We did make another military factory. That's really good, though. That's really quite good. Oh, crap. What? It just... Oh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I didn't realize they'd just go to war immediately. Okay, then. Okay. That's not good. Oh. That a delivery? Oh, God. Can we get rid of this? Please, can we get rid of this? Me mm, that's not good. Oh, we have to be peace. Oh, my gosh. We have to be peace for that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Awarding a hero? Ten, it's only by a week. We need heavy machine guns. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. We get Husky. Honestly, we could probably get some more defense. Awarding a hero, I guess. Old man Husky Summers has been a hero for some time, yet recently he has managed to prove himself again by helping to fight off an executive's raid. Maybe this old hero saw some fight left in him? Mm, I'm not feeling good about this. Oh, at the... Oh. Would it be possible for us to throw up fire teams? No. We wouldn't have enough equipment. Demo teams? No, we wouldn't have enough equipment. Infantry? No, we wouldn't have enough equipment. God dang it. Oh, crap. Here we go. They're already starting the attacks. Oh, that's not good. Head on down there. Oh, we're holding for now. Well, oh, there's some chariots. That's kind of nice. Oh, crap. Please don't lose. Please, 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 please. Oh, how about you guys come on down here? Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Please, please, please don't lose. Please don't lose. Awarding a hero. Yeah, this minus 20% division defense is not very good for us. Well, this is not looking good, so I might just go ahead and figure out another way where we could do this. Alright, everyone, so this is not exactly where we left off, but I basically replayed the entire thing, and let's talk about what I've done so far. So I actually rushed for bunker strategy. If we were to copy the Brotherhood strategy of creating well-defended outposts, we might be able to better defend ourselves. Paul's attacked us by sending an army through the Northern Passage. Let's see if we can seal that off with a line of fortifications. Uh, I've done both of these. Actually, I still did caravan from, come from Carbon. It had to be one of these days that Carbon would fall. A little independent town like that never had a feature in the waste. Still, we can offer their homeless shelter. And I've taken, I think, excavating the old bunkers after the bombs fell. Many bunkers and military facilities in the area around Fort Summers fell silent and were blocked by rubble. Now the time has come to find what's left in there and one get, get one step closer to restoring power. And I did picking on the little prey, but sometimes a little gun is good too. Uh, if you want to read this one, sometimes you need more guns. Uh, since we're not playing or using ex exercising Omega, we should be competing in a military exercise to test our men, with the opposition being the local Raider gangs, but we're currently doing combat training. A combat training game somehow managed to survive the years in one of the storm rooms, store rooms in the back of the fort, likely intended for a nearby military facility. With this, we can see what we can learn from it before it gives out. Cool. Um, so, I basically replay this, uh, and actually I made these guys 20 combo with. The biggest thing is just, this is why I play on historical, a historical, is because you need time. You need time to defend against Lanius and such like that. So, really, it's March 21st, 2276, obviously. Uh, other than that, I don't think too much, too, too many other things have, done, have happened. I'm just going to wait and stay here. Hopefully this will go okay. My gosh, I've got so many divisions. Holy crud. Oh, actually, they actually still might be able to hold off, maybe? Yes, please? Combat training. So we've got even more defense for each defensive leader. All Be all you can be. Cool. These soldiers are the finest batch that we have trained. They are model soldiers and are proud to serve. Cool. I mean, with 20 combo with, I mean, that's just... Gives you quite a bit more attack. Let's see, anything else here? Actually, got more political power as well. As well as, oh no, arms company. So, because we need to produce guns out the booty. So, we just need guns, 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 guns. And organized agriculture once again. As long as we're not attacking with two sides, we're kind of okay. 
Oh, it's not looking good, though. Henry Rhodes. Let's see. He's P. He's E. And he's got Mysterious Stranger, which is nice. Lewis Washington is the different commander now. Uh, leader experience gain sucks. We have to get more attack. Uh, please don't lose. And I think we... Do we make him planes as well? We don't... Oh, we have some radar, but that's okay. Encoded signals will help us out as well a little bit. Let's get some decode signals. That'd be nice. As long as they don't attack too much, we should be okay. But really, that's the biggest thing that you can do if you want to try it out for yourself. Probably play on a historical and hope to God that Lanius takes a while to go to war with us. So, Okay, so we no longer get the effects of the legacy of Centurion Paulus. That's a terrible national spirit for us. Oh my gosh. Terrible, 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 terrible. Power stations, infrastructure would be nice. Veteran instructors. Now, the Maxon technology lease is not bad. We need control Roswell for that, and we lose so many resources. I don't mind this one because you get more planning, but that's kind of okay. Let's get some more infrastructure. Some fine goals that specialize in discount jacuzzi refurbishing supplies have offered for summers a great deal on repair tools. Nice. And let's see, we also have now, of course, uh, Richard Hunter, which is good. Yeah, but that national spirit, as well as Charles Lee, which gives it even more defense on core territory. Yeah, that, that national spirit. Paulus, oh my gosh, that minus 20% defense is really not good. Oh boy, that's not good either. Uh, maybe throw another guy in there, maybe? That's really weak, though. I don't like that. Mm, I hope you're... Level 3 is good. Level 3 is good. Please don't lose. Please don't lose. Come on. You can't afford to lose. Okay, we got some more of this. We also went down to Willcuffed Army. Just literally waiting the entire time uh, to, uh, you know, prevent Lannis from killing you. And also, like, as you saw, like... We don't get a justification for some reason or war justification on us, so we don't know when that's going to happen, which is also a very bad thing. But Spymaster is not bad. This is okay. You get more defense on core territory, and you, less damage to garrisons is great. But frontline operative is probably better just because you get more attack, anyways, and the defense happens wherever you're at. So, organized agriculture is good. Let's grab some more so we get even more manpower because we're going to need some more. Deco signals is going to be great. Go ahead and grab some vacuum tubes. That'll be good as well. So, like I said, the biggest thing. That we could do is just buy more time. That's literally it. Oh god, this is not good. Okay, well, we need you out now. The, the I 10 tool. Chula healing initiative. That's not bad. Power stations are okay. Promise forming the D back. Has anyone else died here? Yes. Cultists need a home. If ghouls and humans are ever to reconcile their differences, we will need to avoid the bigotry that has spread our communities apart. Even if it means giving shelter to a group like the Church of the Lost. Nice. Please don't lose, for the love of God. Oh! Well, I'm glad you got over there. Basic tools are nice. Uh, that's a little bit ahead of time. Energy cell stuff, that's okay. Let's come over here and get some more... Def well, training times, but then better defense, hopefully. We've killed off 500, which is not bad. Not great, but not bad. Is there any other way we can get more defense? Because we're still building up more military factories for now. We actually have quite a few guns. Um, stockpile is really not that bad. We just need more divisions out, really. Go with four. Even though we, we only have so many. Even though I already sent one thing to North Phoenix. Which, I don't know how that's, that really works. Since we have to go through probably Lance's territory to get there. But, okay, whatever. Stonks, great. If you like to read about that, please go right ahead. I love stonks. Bull, maybe bearer. Only 60 more caps, but we'll take it. War propaganda. Ooh, we can get more worse for that way. Screw it. Just do it. Just go ahead and do it. It's fine. Take a look. Oh, cultists need a new home. That's good. Eight to twelve thousand map. That's so many guys we gotta kill off. Cultists need a home, and veteran instructors. Well, let's do Chuala Healing Initiative. The fine sellers of Chuala have offered to help clear our roads after recent raids by the executives. In time, perhaps things may even return to normalcy. We get more infrastructure, which is I love, 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 and more uh, resources. Oh God, yeah, we need more scrap. Well, that is not good. <gasps> we have eleven divisions. Okay, now we. I'm feeling pretty good about holding here. We should be able to do more damage with more divisions. Eight hundred versus eighty, not bad. But yeah, just the only thing you can do to really make sure you, you can hopefully win is just have time on your side. That's literally it. Just time, more time. Old Vegas would be nice to grab. Actually, before we do that, occupied territories. No, we can't do anything there. We might need to go to surface until dismissal eventually. For your fortifications, more entrenchment and soft attack. Good. Coordinated assault for more. Ooh, terrain. Reduction penalties. Nice. I don't think. Oh, you have an upgrade? Oh, good. Well, we will need to attack. Salvage leader would, Savage leader would be good. Savage leader. More breakthroughs. Always good to get. Uh, power armor. Cold personality. Out of supply. Attack, defense. I don't mind the attack and defense. 
Because that's what we'll be mostly using is just infantry. But it's 3%. Now, if we use the unit leader traits, last time I heard, you only get half of uh, the bonus if you actually get the unit leader traits. So, that technically should be 5%. So that's 5% is better than 3% usually, right? Usually, not all the time, but usually. So, that should be okay. We got a lot of army XP right now, which is nice. Well, relatively a lot. Actually, can we see how much of the stockpile they have still? Uh, stock. Somewhat, yeah, cause kind of, kind of. Uh, they have a lot of demos, a lot of fire teams, doggos, they're not bad. They're out of infantry equipment, which is good to see. I kind of doubt that we can make another assault, or make an assault. I want to wait till we get a few more divisions first before we keep pushing on, but that's 50 day focus. Let's go ahead and do generator status online. It's been 200 years since some of the, these fusion generators were active. It's amazing what technology could do even way back then. We get power stations. Do we need power stations? Eh, not really too much, but let's all take them. Can we actually push through here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 versus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Can we actually win there? No, no, no. Hold, 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 hold. That just ruined the entrenchment too. Oh boy. But that much is. Bait them to attacking us? Yeah, we just gotta have to hold. It is what it is, you know. Okay, so we got some more stuff here. Economic advisors. Uh, honest speaker, non-core mapper would be pretty good. I like this one to get even more war sport. Yeah, I'll probably get more war sport. That's fine. 100% war sport's very nice. Still more millies. Very, very good. How much are we out? Not that much, which is good. We got some doggos. <laughs> We captured enemy dogs. That's actually kind of cool. That, okay, so we, now they have new masters and they shall obey us. Yeah, it sucks that we can't move out. Mm. Political bribes? I, wanna, I would like to get more stability as well. Oh, we made another division. Good. We've killed off about a thousand of them. Nice. Nice, nice. Generator sets online, restoring the mainframe. The computer mainframe within one of the deeper bases was rendered offline by the Great War. It only being recently that we've been able to restore power to it. That and lost knowledge contained within related to something called Project, Project Calyx. Oh, I love Project Calyx. Hopefully no one else goes to war with us, but let's grab some more defense maybe? Yeah, 6% we'll more defense is nice. Especially for Oh, 15 divisions, look at that. Now obviously they're making more divisions as well, but we'll see. I wonder if we could bait them into attacking us a little bit more here. Maybe take two divisions out? I want to bait them into attacking us just so that they keep attacking, attacking, attacking. There we go. That's nice. Yes. Because eventually we will we will need to attack. And I need to play the Alamo chapter again. Or just play the Alamo chapter someday. I, at the time of this recording, I have not yet. That's good. Let's grab some more radio. It's a little bit ahead of time. That's fine. Three divisions. What did we just say? Told you to go this way. Will they still attack us? No? Hmm. Because I really want to attack here, but we got to wait. Just bait him in. And we'll get through this. Wow, 140 days to get 100 more political power. And we'll form that, and then we'll do some of that. Did anyone else die here? No. Cherokee, Choctaw, Free Fighters, Free Republic of Rio Grande, Eden, and the Hangdogs. Huh. Alright, good. They're still attacking. That's good. I'm surprised these guys aren't attacking at all. Like, why did they? Why is it only this tile that's attacking us here? Coordinated assault. Let's go to Trooper Warfare for more entrenchment and entrenchment speed. That'd be nice. We got even more political power now. We'll probably want to go outside our auxiliaries, but that hurts our compliance. The refugee assimilation factor. Oh, that's different. I like that. Let's try that. Let's try that. Because whatever refugees come by, maybe we can assimilate them extremely quickly. That'd be pretty good, right? How many, how many refugees do we have? 1.2% uh, of our core population, 561. 10% more won't help us that much, but since the start of the game, 2,700 have arrived of of 2,200 that have assimilated. That's kind of cool. You guys can go in there. That's fine. She goes, oh, Eden will be gone as well. That's nice, nice, nice. We're going to just bait him in. I don't know how long this is going to take. So my goal right now is just to get through as much of... Let's, let's post some of this stuff. That's good. Ooh, we're going to need to limit our... our description. Oh, we can't do that one either. Ooh, that sucks. We're going to need... Some more stuff here. Uh, but, it's looking okay, right? It's looking okay. Oh, yeah, do that one. Go to the bottom. Uh, but I'll do... We'll see how long this is going to take. Well, I'll put it like that. Because I just want to keep baiting them in until we can attack here. And actually really push out. But after restoring the mainframe, we'll probably do veteran instructors. The brother has sent some of its finest commanders to improve the skill of our staff. Together, with our improved unit tactics, our previous skill counts are looking like a penance. Not bad. That would be nice. And of course, we'll eventually do Eden? Yeah, wounded from Eden. Oh, there goes Scorpion's Bite. Hangdogs are moving out. 
Oh, we made some more divisions. Nice, 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 nice. Let time go on. They'll make more divisions. They'll try to attack us more and more, which is fine. Let us struggle a little bit more. That's totally okay. Struggling sometimes is really something that we should all do. Nice. We sh might actually have enough to push out, but I think I might save that for the next episode, but let's read a few more focuses, and then we'll call it an episode, maybe. 100 more political power. Nice. I actually might want to might get rid of this, just because I don't like the penalty. We've got enough guns for now, anyways. I think we'll stay with ballistics as well. Actually, let's grab, let's grab that one. Yeah, that's fine. Actually, I don't, I don't want the debuffs anymore. So, veteran instructors, and I think... Militia training, that's nice. Let's grab some basic weaponry, that'd be good. That we will read. Forming the DBAC, the Dangerous Biome Assault Corps, or DBAC, was a proposed elite military task force performed before the war. It's time to bring it back. And we can't do this one yet because we don't control Roswell. But we'll read Wounded from Eden because they're probably going to die as well. The town of Eden's been taken. Who would have thought it? Especially with how hard Scarlet was trying to keep the Raiders at bay. But I think we'll end it there. And tomorrow we'll reconvene when we've started finally pushing into Alliance's territory. In the meantime, though, my friends, please let me know what do you think would be a good intelligence agency name for the Summers Federation would be. Regardless, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another video. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.